New England at Dallas. Feels like this could be a really dull game <laughs> with two defenses and running the ball and not much else. Anything you're excited about? I mean, I'd like to see Ramondre Stevenson get going. I mean, the Cowboys have allowed 4.4 yards per carry, which is the 10th highest. Part of that's inflated because they got embarrassed by the Cardinals last week. Uh, obviously, every week's a great week to watch Tony Pollard play. His 24 red zone attempts are 10 more than any other running back in the league, which is just insane, really. I think the Cowboys' offensive line was really banged up last week. They missed three different players from it. And it sounds like they're going to get at least two of them back, if not all three. Michael Gallup, after I kind of like started taking L's for him, uh, he had his best game of the season. And Brandon Cooks, I think I'm probably going to play him in some lineups this week simply because he's had 11 targets and only turned it into 39 yards and no touchdowns. It feels like that kind of production is going to turn around at some point. I'm not overly scared by this Patriots defense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the Cowboys, they've been sustaining drives. We've had 7.7 .7 plays per drive. No other team in the NFL's had over 7.1. So I think there's some sneaky stuff that you could like in this game. But equally, yeah, it could be a miserable affair at the same time and not a great points bonanza. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to disagree with you on the, the Dallas wide receivers. I think this is going to be a CD Lamb week. Christian Garland Gonzalez, the rookie, he's been playing really well, but he's playing almost exclusively on the outside. I think that Dallas, we know CD Lamb lines out of the slot a lot. I think it's going to be difficult for the Patriots to double him in there, and I don't think they're going to be able to move Gonzalez into the slot. So I'm really intrigued by CD Lamb this week. But then I'm intrigued by CD Lamb every week. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, I, 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 another player I'd love to see have a big week: Ramondre Stevenson. We saw last week with the Cardinals, they ran the ball at Mike Parsons. They they kind of neutralised that phenomenal pass rush by saying, "Right, now you've got to be a true run run stop in defensive end," and he, and he failed. And I'm really intrigued if New England. We know they're fantastic at scheming up. We know that they you know watch other teams. And it's a case of them going, yeah, let's 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 see if you can stop him. And I think you see on the screen there, Ramondre Stevenson, he's not been getting it done in terms of yards after contact, but I think the talent's still there, and I think he could be prized for uh, a big breakout week this week. We got a question in the chat: Should I trade Pickens and Sutton for Ayuk? Yes, I would make that. Yeah, I think in redraft, that's an absolute yes. In dynasty, I think I'd still pull the trigger um, and grab Ayuk, yeah.